The Queen of England has now passed away. Her health rapidly deteriorated and within a few hours she was announced dead. Death came to her unexpected, uninvited and unplanned. Now straight away I remembered the verse in the Quran where Allah says that wherever you may be, death will overcome you even if you are in fortified towers. Meaning you can try and do whatever you like to save yourself from dying, but the reality is that no amount of money, no amount of power and no amount of trying will ever save you. The cold reality is that you will eventually die. As Allah promises in the Quran, Every single soul will taste death. Now what's really interesting is that when Allah makes this promise that we'll all die, He then defines what true success is straight after as if they're both linked. Whoever avoids entering the hellfire and enters paradise will have truly succeeded. This is incredibly symbolic. Allah is reminding you that this life is temporary. And because it's temporary, success does not lie here. It lies in the hereafter. In other words, you can hustle and you can bustle and you can strive and you can save money, you can get power, but ultimately it doesn't matter. Why? Because your destination is one and success is also one. Now, how is it that we achieve ultimate success? The answer is very simple, by being a Muslim, i.e. someone who submits to the guidance of their creator and not the guidance of creation. As Allah says, And whoever wishes any other way other than Islam, it will never be accepted from them and they will be of the losers in the hereafter. Since me and you cannot guarantee that we'll see tomorrow, it's time that we turn to Allah before we return to Allah. The mother of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, will be in the hellfire. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam asked Allah to give him permission to seek forgiveness for his mom and Allah did not allow him to seek forgiveness for his own mother although she died before he received revelation. Some of you may say maybe she wasn't a good person. But what about the case of his uncle Abu Talib who went through thick and thin in order to protect him. He persevered hunger for three years, him and his own family in order to protect Prophet Muhammad and he encouraged his own children to follow the teachings of Prophet Muhammad. But he himself, he died upon polytheism. And when he died, Prophet Muhammad was extremely sad and he wanted to seek forgiveness for him. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed to his Prophet, ما كان للنبي والذين آمنوا أن يستغفروا للمشركين ولو كانوا so if the Prophet himself was not able to seek forgiveness for his own mother and for his beloved uncle, then what makes you think that you can seek forgiveness for the Queen? And history is a witness for some of the atrocities she had committed.